What is up guys, it's your boy Swole, I'm here, and back with another classic WoW video for Season of Discovery. Now, today I want to show you guys one of the best ways to make gold in the game and skill of professions at the same time. We're going to be taking a look at two different farms in this video, and it's going to be based on having herbalism and mining. Alternatively, you could have only one of them, but having both definitely helps you out, and you can make a lot of gold by having one gathering character with both professions. Now, if you do have herbalism and mining, I would also do recommend downloading, downloading an add-on called Tracking Switcher or Switcher Tracking. I think you can find it under both those words on the Curse Forge. and basically what this one does is it tr sw swaps from tracking herbs to tracking minerals and it swaps every second or every two seconds. You can basically adjust that in the add-on itself so you can track both at the same time kind of by swapping back and forth as much as you can. So Grab Herbalism, grab Mining, level up a character, and let's get into the video. Now before we get into the video, I do want to show you guys the location itself as well, because in the video I'm just farming at the location. So I'm going to the Hinterlands, and based on that I think a lot of you guys who play Classic WoW know exactly where I'm going. We are going to Skulk Rock, inside the cave and also outside the cave. So we're going to be focusing on the inside of the cave and the outside of the cave. That being said, there is something coming up, uh, coming up in this video, which will help you make even more gold and skill up your professions, all the way to max maximum skill incredibly fast and make you a lot of gold while doing so, so stay tuned for that. So here we are inside School Rock on Living Flame. Once again, I'm playing on Living Flame, a PvP server, and the most popular server in the world. So before anyone comes here and says, oh, this farm is way too popular on my server, well, once again, I'm playing on the most popular server in the world, and I barely had any competition. I think throughout my entire farming session here, which was a little bit over one hour, I saw one person. There was one more person coming through only doing his quest, so I saw two people, one who was a farmer, and one who was doing his quest. Now, when somebody else came and farmed, I simply swapped layer. So if you ever have any competition here, try a different layer, try two or three, four different ones, and then if they're all farmed, then you can say, okay, this farm is not that good, or I'm coming back at a different point. The thing is, for this farm to be worth it right now, and to make a lot of gold, you need to be in the only person farming inside this cave. So there's 10 layers on every single server right now, which means 10 people per server could do this farm. Alternatively, there could be two people but you really start seeing a drastic fall off in the gold per hour you make. Now I'm using loot appraiser in the top left to garner the price and the gold per hour that I'm making is based on the minimum buyout right now which means this is the lowest possible gold per hour you will make and the reality is most of these materials usually go for more. Some of them are being fished like somebody's putting them up cheaper on the auction house hoping for somebody to fall fall for it and post them for the cheaper price and ghost mushroom for example has already gone up in price since I post this video. Like, I made, I farmed here yesterday, and I'm making this video now this morning after having slept a little bit, and it's already gone up in price. So ghost mushrooms have gone up in price, and I'm therefore making even more gold per hour than it's stating here. That being said, I'm making about 130 gold per hour quite consistently after having tested this for over an hour yesterday. And that is just by being in the cave, picking up ghost mushrooms, and mining mithril veins. Every now and then you get a true silver vein as well, but you really want those mithril veins anyway. Now ghost mushrooms are also spawning here, you have three different nodes, and what's happening is you have three different herbalism nodes and three different mining nodes. You also have a mining node and a herbalism node on the outside, and all of these four nodes they hyper spawn. So what I do is I farm all the nodes inside the cave. If you ever run out of nodes in the cave, go outside, pick two nodes, and go back in. If you are the only person farming, there will always be a node up, either inside or outside, and when you gather all of them, two more nodes should spawn. So for me, I'm literally never running out of nodes. I farmed this once again on stream for a full hour, and there was never a single minute of downtime. 
you always have a node available either inside or outside the cave if you are the only person farming. Now ghost mushrooms are used in quite a few different uh, items out there and it's really good for skilling up herbalism as well. You can go really far only by picking up ghost mushrooms. Now the requirements here for this farm is to have mining at 230 and I think you want to have herbalism at 245 to be able to pick up the ghost mushrooms and everything else it can spawn both inside and outside. So 245 herbalism and 230 in mining as well. Now mining you simply just have to run laps around for example Tanaris and hope to get both true silver veins and also um, mithril veins to be able to skill up. Now for herbalism I will show you what I was doing to skill up herbalism and that is very simple. I went to also Tanaris for herbalism and I went through like you have two different um, ruins here in the orc ruins. In both ruins, there's two different purple note, purple lotus spawns. So go to ruin one, grab two lotus, go to the other one, grab three more lotus, layer swap, and do the same thing. In this case, if both of these like are not farmed, you can get eight skill points in two minutes. For herbalism. So if you're skilling up herbalism, these two places are absolutely insane. Alternatively, you can use method number two to skill up both herbalism and mining, and we're gonna get into that right now. So, like method number two in both for skilling up professions and farming gold takes place in the exact same place. It is Skulk Rock, but this time you're going inside the Nightmare Incursion. Now inside the Nightmare Incursion you can find Star Silver Veins and Star Lotus. These are two brand new items specific to the incursions, and what I'm doing here is I'm farming the entire cave, layer swapping to a free layer, and it's the same thing over here as well. You have a bunch of different spawns available and they keep respawning every single time. Now, in the incursion, there's a little bit different when it comes to the spawns themselves, and one of the spawns is always at the boss, so you will not be able to grab that one, which means unless the boss is being killed and you can grab that one node, you will not be able to trigger the hyper spawn. So what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing all the other nodes, like for example you have two nodes right here back to back, like you have both an herbalism node and a mining node, so what I'm doing is I'm gathering all the nodes that I can, then I try to layer swap. If I can't layer swap, there's two and a half minutes of downtime before I can do the entire lap again. Now, these mining veins and herbalism nodes, they can be farmed until you have 300 skill. So it's a really good way to skill up both mining and herbalism all in one place inside the same cave again. So you can go here and farm from 230 to 270 or something while making gold. And the last stretch, you can go inside the incursion nightmare and do the same farm. Now, in this case, these conjured items, the ones you're farming inside the incursion, they cannot be sold on the auction house. They are a conjured item, so they can't be, like, they can't be put on the auction house, they can't be mailed, but they can be traded. So what I do here to make a bunch of gold from these specifically, is I'm placing myself at the Feralas Daily. At the Feralas Daily, you can get currently a thousand reputation for completing one mission, every single day. Now what people do there is they are willing to pay for that mission just to get their daily complete. So I'm trying to sell 10 of either the ore or the herb and I'm selling them for 2 gold apiece. So all of the ones that you see in my bag right here, one stack is 20 gold. Like for example the ores stack of 10, I'm selling them for 2 gold each. 20 gold for 10 ores, and I'm selling them at the Feralas daily, just so people can do their daily. Now sometimes people pay for them for not dailies as well, in which case you can literally stand at the portal in the hinterlands and try to sell them there as well. The TLDR here is you can sell these, you can trade them, you just have to post that you're selling them in general chat, say chat, and slash yell. Just find buyers and sell it that way. Now as you can see, we do have a little bit of downtime after gathering all the herbs and all of the mining veins, so in this case we're just gonna wait, we're just gonna wait a little bit and hope for some quick respawns and when they respawn we get about 4 skill points in both herbalism, no 3 skill points in both professions in one lap. One lap goes really fast and then we just wait again or alternatively layer swap. This is an incredible way to skill up professions all the way to max and you can make some gold while doing so. Now once again the incursion items cannot be put on the auction house but it's still a really good way to make gold. You can sell them 
them for two gold apiece, alternatively even one gold per piece, and still make literally over a hundred gold per hour while you're skilling up professions. It is really good. And as of right now, when I'm doing this video, once again I had no competition in this cave at all, either outside the nightmare or inside the nightmare. But if you happen to have problems, or like um, if you happen to have if you happen to have a um, competition inside a nightmare, go out the nightmare and farm ghost mushrooms. If you have competition for the ghost mushrooms, go inside the nightmare and farm there instead. So you have two farms in the same place in two different instances that you can go and try out. Either way, that is basically what I have for you today. Once again, if you want to have access to more gold making videos, we still have gold making videos in early access. To anyone who has my gold making guide, we currently have five more videos in early access that will be going public in the next couple of days. So if you want to have the access to those right now, you can check them out through my gold making guide, and I'll keep making videos in early access there as well, both crafting, investments, and the best gold farms. Think about phase four investments, how much gold we can make from that. We literally had some investments from phase 2 to phase 3, that 30 timed in price, which means if you put a thousand gold into that item, you would have had 30k now, just to put that into perspective. I don't think anyone from my community did that, I put in 100 gold myself, and I have 3k gold from a 100 gold investment, just by knowing when to buy, when to sell, and a little bit of a speculative investment, let's be fair. But even things like, for example, the Bolt of Runecloth, I have been pushing since they were 20 silver each, and I've been selling them for 1.6 gold each. That is 8 times profit on that one. 8 times return on investments, and I've been able to buy a bunch of them. I bought like 2,000 of them, which means I bought a lot, and I'm still able to offload them really fast. That is a high, fast selling item that you can buy a lot of and sell fast, and sell a lot of at the same time. Now, once again, you have good access to the guide itself, you get access to a gold making community, and you get early access to gold making videos by having the guide. Alternatively, if you want to follow me on Patreon, you can do so. The link is down below, I am making one exclusive video on Patreon every single month, so do consider supporting me on Patreon as well if you want to make even more gold in Season of Discovery. As always, thank you for watching the video, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below, let me know how you're making gold in the comments as well, and thank you once again for watching. I will see you again very soon.